how to wash and seal a kennel. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply the seal ring cleaner and the seal ring kennel sealer in that area. Here's the project overall. Uh, it's a residential uh, kennel for dogs. And the materials that we will use will be seal green kennel cleaner concentrate, seal green kennel sealer concentrate, a leaf blower, a pressure washer, a garden and pump sprayer, and a five gallon pail to mix the products. As you can see here, just to give an overall look at the uh, uh, project, uh, it was a slab of concrete uh, where you can see some oil stains. The center slab was for parking cars and they decided to make it a kennel uh, area by adding a couple of new more sections of concrete at each end. So the center is all, the sides are new. You also see that the kennel is currently being used and there's all kinds of dog urine and dog material on the floor, poop and some of the stains of food and other things. So as you can see as we walk the video, you can see the, diff the various stains that we're going to have to remove. <coughs> okay. The first step that we do is go ahead and remove all the big stuff, everything off the kennel, and then we go ahead and blow away all the loose stuff that might be on it. It just makes it easier to clean and make sure that uh, it, we clean it thoroughly in, in that part. The second part that we do is here we go ahead and apply our seal, seal green kennel cleaner and uh, treat every spot that has some material on it. It's kind of like a pre-treatment, allows it to soak into the concrete, emulsifies what's penetrating the concrete and resurfaces. So when we wash it, it the concrete would not only be clean on the surface, but would also extract all the urine that has penetrated in this concrete over the months or days that has been in use prior to washing and sealing. So now that we treated everything else, we go ahead and treat the whole floor with a cleaner. The cleaner uh, also removes uh, fresh new oil stains. A lot of the dog food, uh, all the dog stuff, uh, leaves some oil stains on the concrete and those can be removed easily with our kennel cleaner. As you can see, we treat all the surface in a pattern to make sure we don't miss any area. You can also see the new in the old section. Here's the oil stains where the cars were. They've been retreated. So by using a turbo nozzle, it allows us to focus some energy without damaging the concrete. Also allows us to remove some of those other tougher stains and materials from the dock like poop or urine off uh, quickly before we actually do the whole surface. You can use a thermal nozzle for small projects to wash the whole floor. Uh, it's better than the green tips or the standard tips that come with pressure washers because it has a rotating nozzle uh, that, it that reduces the damage to the concrete. Turbo nozzles are available at Home Depot. You just have to make sure that you buy the right turbo nozzle for the right pressure washer that you have. You can see here in this diagram how turbo nozzle washes a wider area. Then the next nozzle that we recommend is called the green tip, which is a 25 degree tip. You also have a zero degree, never use that. Those are the yellow and the red tips. Those will definitely damage your concrete permanently when you use them to clean it. The also for large production places, uh, and we do a lot of those, we use what I call a surface cleaner. Think of a walk behind lawnmower with two high pressure uh, rotating uh, jets underneath that disc that clean the floor 20 inches at a time very thoroughly. It actually gets a deep penetration into the concrete because they're running very close without damaging the surface. So we go through the whole surface with this with the surface cleaner. The only thing about the surface cleaner is that it brings all the stuff up to the top of the floor, but it does not rinse it off. So then we do a quick rinse with a thermal nozzle. The thermal nozzle is one of those things that once you buy, you would use it for almost any application because it allows you to get deep cleaning as well as allows you to do overall cleaning as well uh, without damaging the product. It's a great, great tip to buy uh, if you have a kennel for cleaning it on a regular basis. As you can see, we're washing all the material uh, that it was surfaced and rinsing it off to the grass. All our materials are environmentally safe, so your grass and your plants and all that, they will be safe as well. So you don't have to worry about collecting this or disposing this into a sewer or a control area. So you can see now how much more dirt came out of the kennel after we did a thorough cleaning with a surface cleaner and the turbo nozzle. We also like to seal, uh, clean and seal all the areas around the concrete because I know those will get dirty over time as well. Once that's done, we go ahead and use a leaf floor to blow any puddles that are there. This allows the concrete to dry faster, uh, therefore we can get back to sealing quicker. In the sealing application, we basically apply the sealer with a pump sprayer. 
You will see us using a four gallon backpack, but you also can get a two gallon or one gallon sprayer from Home Depot. We try to apply it evenly to all the surface to make sure it's nice and wet, not puddle, as you can see he's doing it right here. And he's going to skip the oil areas because we're going to treat those uh, separately after we finish doing all the sealing. We don't want to put sealer over an oil stain. Now you can see him uh, applying the sealer evenly to the rest of the concrete. You'll notice that the new section of concrete is absorbing a lot more sealer than the all ex existing section of concrete. Once we have uh, applied the first coat of sealer and now we let it dry completely, then we come back and do another light spray over the whole entire piece of concrete to make sure that we get all sealed correctly. You'll notice that the existing old concrete is absorbing less, but in the area where the new concrete was, you will notice how darker it gets even in the second pass. That means that that concrete needed more sealer to completely seal itself, be sealed. So therefore, no concrete is ever the same. So you have to make sure that you uh, uh, do a second pass just to make sure that has to happen, uh, that you seal everything. Here's a sample of what it looks like after we finish. We did treat the oil stains with a product called Seal Green Gray Out Waterless Oil Cleaner. It's a powder that goes over the oil, oil stain that wouldn't come out and treats it as uh, safe for pets so they can still use the kennel. The entire project took us about a day complete to wash. We wash in the morning, allow it to dry, and then seal in the afternoon. Uh, the concrete is ready for the dogs to come back and use it the next day, uh, totally safe and ready. Uh, for more information on Seal Green Kennel products, visit www.sealgreen.com or call 800 997-3873